Hello everyone. This is the first episode for the Stern Root GUI.、Um, recently, I start to learn a little bit about the GUI part because I want to add some、uh, hard key、uh, functionality to my applications to、um, make analysis easier. And I found the resources is a little bit hard to. From a beginner, so I want to bridge that from the very very beginner to some workable、uh, to get some workable skill. So I will start the very first、uh, tutorial here. Actually, I was continue to make some、um, series for this、uh, GUI tutorial. Okay, so let's start from the very very basic one. So today I was just talking about. The structure and the, the main concept of the, making the GUI work, and this is a key and a very important tutorial, and this would be、uh, very、uh, essential for other GUI as well. So let's talk. Let's just demonstrate how this simple、uh, GUI works. So this name is called、uh, just one button. So when you run the GUI, actually it's a script. Actually, you can compile it, but in this tutorial, I just use script. So let's just demonstrate first. Now we'll talk about this、uh, code a little bit later. So this just very easy. So you get、uh, this object GUI here. So it's a frame, and there's just one button, and there is、uh, some text on it called the edit. So when you click on it. It just gone, so just one button and doing nothing. So just that simple. All right. So let's talk about how this simple button or single GUI work. Okay. So、uh, this is just the code here. Actually, this is a class. So when we run the script, actually the start from the very bottom one is here. It creates the class called the simple GUI and pass by some argument here. I will talk about this. So let's see this this、uh, class here. So、uh, you you can see many examples. Sometimes using some require scripts here, but I personally I like to. Uh, make the class derived from the T main frame here. Okay, so in these cases, personally, I think this will make the codes more、uh, easier and more clear to read here. All right, so the T Uh, G main frame. You you have you already know T means a class in the convention of certain root. A G means the GUI part. So the main frame is kind of a supporting frame, the most bottom one. So you can think about just a, a frame that can support all other sub frames and or buttons labels. What else widgets on it here? Okay, so our class has all the public figure from the TG main frame here. Actually, you can think about this object is a TG main frame, but we can have other feature on it. All right, so so very importantly, we have to create the main frame. Actually, is in our constructor here. So the constructor、uh, have the、uh, TG window, and then we have the dimension like width and height here. This kind of、uh, kind of just a routine you will see is a lot a lot of time. So this guy here would be. Put in.、Uh, we will put the G client get root into、uh, the constructor here. Okay. So、uh, just take no brainer. It just put in it. <laughs> okay. It will work here. So then you, you. This is the constructor. 
in the in your simple GUI class, then we will pass this uh, uh, arguments to the upper one, the the TG main frame here. So the the main frame is created here. Okay. So for the GUI, the constructor is a very very important stuff here because this is the first step or kind of initial setup of everything here okay so that which will take a look about here so into the constructor when we create that we will have set clean up the deep clean up this is a kind of a option here this is a very important step and don't forget that maybe you will notice if you don't include it but it was very important when you close the window sometimes you will uh, have some weird behavior or uh, error message when you click it because you forget this line I, I I know this because I make this mistake before so I just let you save your time so um, then we see there is another frame basically I don't need this but just for uh, make something more exciting <laughs> so I create another frame this frame is uh, is horizontal frame and uh, actually it just means put a thing uh, horizontally so this one thing would next to another thing horizontally not vertically you can see a row like this okay all right so the basically the concept is um, you have to co say uh, this friend where is is parent so the parent is this object because this object is a kind of a base kind of main frame here and this is the dimension here and we create this object but we not place it yet so to place it to show to visualize it we have to uh, go to the placement here you will see that here to add frame here we have our horizontal frame code edge frame we add this frame so then it will visualize or kind of tech effect so this is a concept like you create an object and you do a lot of things in the middle then you have to place it here okay so this is a frame kind of container so we can put some con content or some widgets on it so here we have an, a button so this is a text button here um, the syntax is very simple here is again where it's a parent and the setup is assets here so there is an ampersand as would just um, underscore the, uh, the later e and you can use the uh, auto and e together to to add to to kind of uh, run this command here um, to trigger the click then go to here okay um, this is not necessary so you can just use uh, eliminate M uh, symbol here so we will talk about more a little bit the connect the single the signal and the slot so here is I would just very briefly talking about uh, actually not just button has connect you have the canvas you have entries uh, like uh, text entry number entry they both has connect so you you can have a lot of signal and slot um, kind of mechanism going here so but here is very simple so this button uh, would run this close window method when someone got emit someone emits the click and it received the click okay so this is the response 
the uh, object is has the class name the simple GUI, and the object is this one. Okay, so uh, I know it's it's not very uh, straightforward at the first time, but just know when you click, then this simple object class. Uh, uh, so you are around this closed window. So it's very example. So you click on this button, you go to here. All right. Anyway, so this uh, talking about the placement. So again, we create an object. We still have to place on it. So here, because it is is parent is edge frame here. So we call the edge frame add frame at this button according to a lay out one here all right so there a lot of layout uh, here is using the layout hint uh, there are some kind of like a matrix uh, I will talk about later but uh, the layout hint is still very useful so is just tell you is make a center X um, use some padding here so we add him there so the rest of the code is just a uh, kind of a uh, uh, routine stuff here or set name or uh, map sub window resize get a uh, or move something you, you can have more option to the placement here all right so this just kind of routine sometimes I just copy and paste is on, uh, except that there is some special need here okay so so when we click this button we will go to uh, cl close window and this is our our, def our own function here so we have to define it here it just um, uh, will delete this window and close safely okay so this is just a very simple code so I think you probably already uh, pick them out so just run it again so you got a lovely bottom here oh I uh, can get it. okay and you click and it's gone <laughs> okay <laughs> so simple so I hope you enjoy it Thank you so much. Uh, I know it's kind of awkward to describe as code, and uh, uh, especially at the first time you would think about okay, it's, di it's quite different experience from other um, program like Python, uh, like TTK. So you know, but but the same rule actually provide a lot of um, very useful library so it's really good when do the data analysis okay so that's it so the for hope you enjoyed this the first tutorial i hope you come back soon and i also hope i have my i have time to make a next tutorial um soon okay thank you very much for your listening i'll see you later